Hello, British Ants here. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, tour of our test tube adapters uh, and try and answer some questions as well. So it's not just uh, talking about products. Um, but we've all had that problem where we're trying to transfer queens from an alternative test tube into a new one. So <clears throat> the old method is basically to attach a new test tube. And that's the old one see there that uh, it's exhausted there's no more water there the cotton's gone dirty uh, it's not moldy people will always use the word mold because it sounds more dramatic but uh, it's just dirt the ants invariably will appreciate the dirt and won't want to move and um, that's quite a normal thing they're very happy there it's only us that like white cotton like that so uh, we may think that looks beautiful but to an ant that looks beautiful. So they, they're in no rush to move. Uh, these are some, and this is pretty much how we transfer our queens over. Um, we put them on the U-foil um, because it reflects the light and uh, we cover an area with well, the new uh, test tubes with the um, red acetate, uh, which creates a, a dark area. And then we'll kind of put a light over the top uh, far enough away as not to um, create heat because you do not want them uh, warmed up um, whatever species they are so just make sure that the light if you're doing it this uh, this way the old-fashioned way that the light is not so close as to actually cook the ants because it will raise the temperature throughout um, these are Lassius niger uh, some with eggs brood uh, workers uh, these were transferred last week and here we are nine days later so uh, and I think only two have moved so don't rush the ants um, you could turn them upside down there's a possibility of damaging the queen stressing them out um, let the ants do the work it is a game of patience so it's not something that's going to happen overnight over a week over a week it could take um, a month at least so patience is the key the ants will move when they when they're happy to invariably it's usually when this area dries out completely that they'll start to move in um, you can add more um, acetate make it darker try and make it a bit more appealing um, but th that's the process uh, and it's all it is is literally uh, two test tubes cell taped together um, with a new water module uh, but the new way we're doing it now is we've got test tube adapters which are on the website let's get rid of that which are these um, they're not cheap I won't deny that but they are very invaluable. Um, we, uh, going forward into 2018, will be using this standard, um, we're going to call it standard industry test tube. Um, we prefer the large test tube, there's more room for the ants to run around. You can have a larger um, well in there. And these just fit out, they come with a test tube. Um, but the great thing about these, we we'll just assume. This is our test tube, one we did earlier. So we just whack that in the top there, nice and firm, so no escapees. Uh, and that is ready to be attached to another test tube. So there we are. We'll assume this one's our ants, uh, and they'll make their way into the new one. The good thing about this, it comes with the tubing, um, is that you can have a, you can conceal the whole lot, so it will be uh, a little bit more enticing for the ants to move over. The test tube adapters are great for this, um, but they're universal. So once you've got one or two of these, uh, they can be reused many times. Um, all our formicariums that are listed on the website are compatible. So here we are. If you were transferring said ants into this formicarium. This is a, a great idea. 
Um, we'll also take a look at some of our others. Uh, we've got the flatbed one, and we've already got a hole in the back of the formicarians, and um, you'll find a little plug there, and that fits in. We call this the uh, crystal clear formicarium tubing. We use that for all of these uh, formicarians. And you've got a little plug, which is just there. So you just pull the plug out and pop your tubing in and your ants are ready to go. Um, you can also use this as a watering chamber as well, depending on the species that you've got in the nest. So you could just have this as a, a water chamber. Um, they may move into it though, so you need to be careful on that. Um, you can also add um, one of our new seed packs. Uh, you'll notice that these come with dates on now so that you know you're getting the very best seed and they're not just budgie seed unlike a lot of our competitors so um, we do try to make sure there's quite a lot of other bits and pieces in there it's just taking the wrong one off so we just whipped that out need a nice strong pair of nails for this So that we could add a, a food chamber. Pull that out. And then attach the food chamber, which is um, quite useful for the messy species. Uh, that way they can choose the seed that they want and uh, they'll leave what they don't want. Um, we've got the smaller ones here. Again, all the former care rooms have already got a inbuilt you've got two you've got one there and you've got one this side so you can plug straight into that so you can transfer the ants to the formicariums and when you've finished you can unplug and pop the stopper straight back in done and there we are uh, any questions pop them down below and we'll try and answer them as and when they come in Thank you.